All right, hello again, my YouTube friends. I am going to do a demo today of a Bose L1 Pro 8. I just received this new Bose. It, to me, is the successor and the heir apparent to the L1 Compact, which I've been gigging for many years. Um, the new Bose has eight drivers in the top array section versus six in the L1 Compact. It has a larger seven by 13 inch oval shaped subwoofer versus the original L1 Bose Compact. But that aside, over here is a turbo sound IP1000. Now I've had this for a while. It has two eight inch drivers in the subwoofer module. The tower is just one tall piece and it has several drivers. I don't want, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it has eight drivers and a tweeter. And they're very similar in power and output, I would say, just based on my usage. But I want to give you a comparison. There is an app. Let me show you what the app looks like. This is the app for the turbo sound. See if I can get that without any reflection. So you can see there's a global EQ in the bottom. I have it scooped, and when you when I compare these, you'll hear why I have it scooped. I think it's more indicative of the sound of the bows, um, but it's still very full range sounding to me. Um, hang on. You've got individual channel volumes, you have master volumes, and you have a subwo subwoofer level volume on the turbo sound. And on the Bose app, here's the Bose app, Individual channel volumes, volume, treble, bass, reverb for each channel. There's a mute. You can set instrument or line level tone match settings, whether it's mic, instrument. There are multiple tone match settings. And it will stream Bluetooth. And uh, it's absolutely wonderful, wonderful app. So that just turned off. But let's see. I am plugged into the Bose right now. So here is the Bose. exquisite sound. This is set at midnight at 12 o'clock on the volume. I just gigged with this yesterday outdoors for a large wedding in a backyard. This is gig volume. So this is a small room, but look how close I'm standing with my Martin Dreadnought. No feedback. That's absolutely remarkable. Um, but the dispersion was wide. It was exceptional. Um, super impressed with this. So let's go to the turbo sound. Now a difference on the turbo sound I should share. It does not have reverb so I'll turn on a reverb pedal on my pedal board. That was no reverb on the board. The reverb on the bows is built in to the tower. So that has reverb. I'll turn on the reverb for the turbo sound. There we go. acoustic bleed over volume in the room. Let me mute the system. This is the acoustic volume. So you can hear it, but I have the systems up loud enough in the room. I'm convinced that's what you're hearing. I hope you are too. 
Um, but I think it's good enough that you are hearing the differences of the systems. Everything else is equal. So now let me adjust the app. Let me. Um, I think the bows might be louder. Um, so let me go over to the turbo sound. All right. Let me see if we can do this. Um, I'll take the volume up. I'm on channel B. So I just move the slider up. I'm going to add a little more bass and a little more mid-range. Alright, so a little more bass, a little more mid-range, and I took slider B, that's a channel I'm plugged into. I don't have the subwoofer all the way up, because I don't need it all the way up for acoustic guitar in this small room. Let's hear that. feedback so let me go adjust that and again I'm not a professional reviewer and this is not a uh, exhaustive comprehensive demo I'll take the bass down the bass is up just a little bit more than noon just because I'm trying to get it to sound as close to the bows as possible It's, it's going to want to feed back. turn up the bows. And by the way, I can do that directly on the back module of the bows, but let me just demonstrate I can do that on the app. All right, so I'll show this to you. So here is the volume control. I'm on channel two. So I'll just turn that up a little bit. We'll take it up to about one o'clock. still on the pedal board. Alright, so now it's off. So now we're just hearing the bows. Impressive. This is an anthem pickup in this guitar. In the tone match setting that I have on the bows, it's set up right now for the bag setting called the iMix Blend. They don't have one for the anthem, um, but I set that up. It's the best sounding tone match setting I have found, and I absolutely love it. Um, but I'm hearing, it's, I'm hearing some of the microphones, some of that airy detail that makes this sound so acoustic and so pristine. away so you're just hearing the system.
that is so good. It's so rich. It's like a piano. Oh, man, that's inspiring. But we'll go over to the turbo sound one more time. And I'll see if I can change some settings in this turbo sound. Let's see. And I'll turn on the reverb on my board for the turbo sound. it's borderline wanting the feedback and that's been my experience with the turbo sound uh, great not a knock on it it's a great speaker um, all right so I'm gonna see if I can take up the treble just for a little bit more detail maybe take the bass down a little bit all right so we'll see what that does still wants to feed back so let me scoop the mid-range just a little bit more let's try that that helps is what I hear from good guitars, good sound systems, and I'm hearing that through the bows. I'm not getting that through the turbo sound. Turbo sound, in its all fairness, is half the money. I think they were, I don't know, $700, $750 or something new. Um, so the bows is more. It's so inspirational when I play this bows. It sounds so amazing. And again, credit goes to the Bags Anthem pickup. It is my single favorite acoustic guitar pickup. Batteries last forever. It has a microphone in it. It's very feedback resistant. It sounds most like the guitar, but louder. Um, there are some anomalies that you experience, but um, just exquisite. And with the tone match setting on the bows, the I, I, I mix blend, I believe it's what, what it's called, the Bags I mix blend setting. Um, it's a very similar pickup to the Bags Anthem. Sounds great. So what do you think? Leave your comments below. If you guys are enjoying the channel, please subscribe. And I hope you're all staying safe, healthy, and well. Take care.